And I want to talk to you guys about one thing that uh, was brought to my attention by watching Casey Neistat. And if you guys don't know who he is, you guys are living on a rock because this dude is like the baller of YouTube vlogs. Uh He basically sold his application, which was Beam, which was a kind of like a knockoff of like Snapchat. It did basically everything Snapchat did without the filters, and it, it was unique, but it never really succeeded what he wanted. It got maybe like, well, that guy almost got hit. Uh, slow down. Um, it got maybe like. 3, 000, 3 million downloads or something. You go, that's a lot of downloads. Social apps. When you want to share a picture or video, you go like this. It's letting you share. So, this is what sharing on Beam looks like. There's no staring at the phone. You just hold it to your chest and it records. And then it's posted. Well, it only got those downloads because of who Casey is. Is a, a famous YouTuber and he's in the entertainment business, basically what YouTube is, right? CNN bought the rights or bought the app for like 22 million dollars and people are like oh you're a sellout you're a, a sellout because you you made all this money and you're selling out to cnn which is a big corporation he's not a sellout he's doing everything you're supposed to do in business you make your uh company you grow it and when someone's willing to buy it they try to uh, grow it as well but he said he has a wife, he has kids, so now this 22, 23 million dollars that he made is going to uh, make his kids for the rest of their life being able to go to college, uh, they're going to be able to live comfortably, and that's what you want in life as a, a dude. You want to be able to support your family, your wife, your kids, and probably for the rest of their life making 22, 23 million dollars, he's going to be set for the rest of his life. People don't realize when the UFC... The people who bought the UFC, the Fatita brothers who bought the UFC in like uh, 2001, they bought it for $2 million. They sold it last year in 2016 for $4 billion. And you go, wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money because people know that if they join the UFC or they buy the UFC, they're going to start making money because the UFC is a hot item right now. It's the same thing why people go in stocks and bonds. Like, I'll put a stock in the Apple iPhone because they know you're always going to make money because people are always, um, the Apple product is always booming. It's the same thing. If someone told me right now or told you right now, said, hey, with the skill set you have, would you help me um, make a YouTube vlog? But you film it, you edit it, and we'll give you uh, $6,000. The average person is going to go, well, I don't have $6,000 in my pocket. Hell yeah, I'll... I'll uh, I will um, do that for you, sir. A vegan company came up to me and said, Hey, market your um, our vegan uh, cheeseburgers on your YouTube channel. A vegan burger. And what a vegan burger would be? Would be like made out of peanuts or something. And it'd go, eat it, and then tell your audience it's delicious, and we'll give you a thousand bucks. And you eat it. And they can tell it's not authentic. If it's something that's authentic and real, they're going to be like, Oh, okay, this dude's for real. He's legit. He really likes that. Like, you can tell when I talk about my car or ride around my car, I like this car. If Toyota came up to me and said, hey, uh, we have a 1999 Toyota Celica that's tricked out, whatever. Would you be willing to make a little video about it and ride around in it and tell us what your uh, thoughts are? I'm like, hell yeah, I would because I enjoy driving and, and a Celica would be something I would be passionate to get in. Or it'd be like, for example, somebody said, hey, you want to go... Uh, make a full-time podcast that we know will get uh, successful, will get views, and you can talk about anything and everything from UFC to music to whatever. Would I do it? Hell yeah, I would because I love um, talking to you guys and I love shooting the shit with you guys, and that's not a sellout. That's somebody saying, hey, we're willing to give you something that you would love to do, but we're willing to pay you, pay you for it. You know, like I said, Casey never sold out because he sold his um, application for... Um, 23 24 million dollars because he knew the app was at a standstill like it was kind of like dying off like it wasn't like booming like he thought he was and he's like why not just take the money now instead of maybe a year or two from now and, and they come back and you go I'll offer you 300,000 and he's losing the money you know at the end of the day it's all about making money in life when you're an adult 
you want to do like Conor McGregor says. You make the most money you possibly can. So when you uh, retire, you have money to sit back and relax. And you're not struggling. And not have to be working at like 65, 70 years old. Trying to still bust your ass to work. Because you still need money. Make the most money you possibly can now. So when you're older, you're comfortably riding out until you die. That That's what uh, that's how life should be. But life is not always like that. Because the average person cannot make like $3 million, $4 million that they can uh, live comfortably off. But... Is Casey a sellout? No. Is Metallica a sellout? No. If Eminem came out, if, if somebody came up to you and said, Hey, would you want to be um, featured on an Eminem track if you're a little like local hip-hop artist? And we'll give you uh, $10,000 to be on that track. Every YouTube rapper or every rapper that's out there would be like, That's not a signed artist. Would go, yeah, I'll join. I'll, I'll be on the Eminem record so quickly. Because they know they're going to get exposure. They're going to get money. And... They're going to get money that they don't have. And they're going to have money that they can spend and kind of live comfortably for a little bit. So, sellout for a YouTuber is not what you guys think it is. All you young people just think selling out is making money. Well, when you join YouTube, what's the main goal? A lot of people making money. When you work at an $8, $8 an hour job, what's your goal? To make $10 an hour. What's your, job, what's your goal at a $15 an hour job? To eventually make $20 an hour. That's what human nature is. To make more money and more money so you can be successful and you can... Uh, help pay for your um, your loved ones and your family and whatever you need in life. But selling out, I don't believe that dude sold out just because he made $2.5 million or whatever it was. Look at it this way. No one's calling Shea Carl a sellout. And he sold his Maker Studio for $500,000. And that dude's living high, living rich. That dude's a rich dude just for making YouTube videos.